We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Los Scandalous Damned Battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now. You know what happened? It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. It's better to be lucky than good, which is your gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. It seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. Second down and five. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beef boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. One speed, one engaged. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me. On account of not clenching his cheeks, though. <laughs> Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking... 
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they went to the air and came up big. Third and two. And a hard run there picks up the first down. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing. And he just slipped away. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. What is this, Andy's wrestling? Second and three. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big toe to where my tongue was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. down and five. And then Catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end.
First down to three. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third and four. Punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Oh, well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Second down and a lot. Ooh, 
hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third and two. Oh, oh no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Oh, no good. Now that punter's gonna find a cut. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and 10. When you hear the sounds of bone snapping like that, Grim, you assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah! And that'll bring up second and one. Caught for the first down! And it's first and ten. And he's running with a crazy pass. Look at the path he's taking a beat. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. Second down and more than the QB would like. Two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Well, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. Third and four. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. I'm a hell of a fellow. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and eight to go. Nail him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The 
second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, man? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? And hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. Second down and seven. And he just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. Yeah, man, I was even going to hit him now. You know what happened? Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice his way through any defensive. And like bricks his balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. Offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and ten.
comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Eh, not a boss feeling to hide. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. Catch for a one yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Third down and nine. Oh, 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 oh. No, I can't help it. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserk. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grip. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. <laughs> Second down and nine. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and nine. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got you by a car and died. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. Man, what a hit that was. Hey. 
Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Hill. Hot. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's go. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down in a lot. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and nine. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick in the court. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot, hot. And that's a one-feet dirty trick. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> you want to do some fun on your time. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one. Hot two. Hot He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Brad. These guys are doing fine by themselves. I don't even have a Second down in a muffin says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. One, hot two. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and eight. Hot. Hot one. Eight. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your end. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Don't make any 
making mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. They're mocking. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and six. First down and five. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Oh, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, eight. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just 
summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Great run for a nine-yard gain. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's that's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. And the QB decides to throw the ball away. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. The Mellis Hellboys lose today's game. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...